Uh, hello everybody. So I realized that I had not given you appropriate uh, lesson material for how to render out of Blender, out of like the 2D part of Blender. So I wanted to do that real quick, make a real quick video about it. Um, I, ooh, good, I have Photoshop up. That's great. So <clears throat> um, I'm going to show that real quick. So like, let's say I have an animated sequence like my moon here. Uh, this is what he looks like when he just gets tired and you can hit him in the game. And I want to render it out as a piece of animation. What can I do? So uh, I don't know how well you can see my mouse, but I'm going to take my mouse and put it over the, uh, the properties window in Blender. And I'm going to do it over this one. Now, normally I keep that, again, if you recall, uh, as my material window. But I'm going to change that right now. I'm going to click on this white icon that is output properties. It looks like a printer. And I click on that. And this is where I can set my uh, resolution. So I'm going to do, I'm going to render it as a 1024 by 1024 um, thing. Now, typically what you're going to render out to is like a screen size. So maybe 1920 by 1080. Um, you know, that that's going to be good for actually making it like a thing that would be on a screen, like on a monitor. Um, so I usually would do 1920 by 1080. Um, I'm going to not do that just because this is a game sprite. Uh, you may also, you're going to also want to make sure that you are setting your frame start and end uh, to the right thing. Now my animation that I'm going to render out starts at 60 and ends at 74. So that's what we're, I'm going to do. But, you know, so just make sure it's whatever the, the um, you know, visible frames are. And it'll just correspond to whatever's down here on your timeline automatically. So that, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, and then another thing I want to make you aware of is frame rate. And what frame rate does is, now you're just going to stick to 24. Again, mine is 12 because I'm doing game sprites. We've talked about that in class. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, now this is a really important thing. So you'll see output, and this is where um, there's a file location. This is where you're going to choose where it goes. And I'm actually going to, you know, I've already rendered out this game sprite. I'm just going to render a version for you as an example. Um, so I'm going to click on this folder, and then that's going to bring up my browser window. Again, you can see my previous render. Um, but I'm going to click this and go here, and then I'm going to make a new folder here. And I'm going to call it um, AT Demo, um, just to show you. And then I'm going to name it uh, Moon Tired. So I named it Moon Tired. Um, and then I click Accept. Because what you're doing is you're just telling it where the render should go. Uh, so I'm going to click Accept. Now, the output you want, uh, so you can choose lots of different file formats. Um, you can render it straight as an AVI, um, but I don't like to do that. I like to render as a PNG, as a series of PNG images, and here's why. Um, because if you render as a movie, let's say, this shouldn't happen to you, but let's say you were rendering something really long, and you know it's the kind of render where it's like click and then go make a sandwich, like long render. Um, if you do that and it takes forever, uh, let's say you're on frame... Uh, 299 out of 300 and then the power goes out and you know your your computer shuts off um, you've lost the whole AVI the movie file so you want to render as images because then in, if you're if you were rendering as images then all you have to do is like oh oops okay render the last frame and we're good um, so always render as images so I'm rendering as PNG so that's all set up uh, now I'm gonna click go up to the top the menu bar and click render and I'm going to render animation and it will just render my animation out to the file location that I indicated. There's one of those smear frames that the, you know, there's one of those uh, frames of like, if you pause an animation, it looks ugly. I definitely have one in there. Um, okay. So that's done, but I don't want you to send me a bunch of PNGs. 
uh, what I want is you to send me a GIF or a video. Now if it's a video, you're going to render out, um, pardon the environment art, uh, if it's a video you're going to send out, you're going to usually do it through Adobe Premiere and you're going to load the images in to Adobe Premiere as an image sequence. Uh, I'm not going to cover that right now. I'm going to show you how to make an animated GIF. Um, but if I go File, uh, Open As, now if I flub this a little bit and have to go back, pardon me, it's been a little while since I've done this specific method. Um, but I'm going to go to document. Actually, no, I was in the right place. Um, <laughs> little Nemo. Look at all the files. That's how complex game development is. Uh, enemies, bosses, moon, and renders, AT demo. There we go. Okay, so here I have my files. And I'm going to click on the first one. Uh, remember, this is open as. It's not open. It's open as. And because it's open as, that way I can, uh, when I click this first file, I can click this checkbox here, this magic checkbox that says image sequence, which will then open. I can set my frame rate. My frame rate is 12. You would put 24 because you're rendering out to 24. Um, so I'm going to put 12 because that's what mine is at. And then you get this. Now, you can't really do much with it right now, but I'm going to open up um, the timeline, window timeline, and now I can play it. And you can see it move. It's going to play a little choppy just because it's the first time it's running through. Okay, cool. And then I can go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. And then that'll bring up a thing that will help me render it as a GIF, um, which should pop up here in a second. It's running kind of slow because I'm recording. Um, okay, and it's going to loop forever. I don't know what's up with its color. That's weird. Um, new monitor color. Um, well, it's going a little slow, but, you know, and then I can hit save and you know, give it a file location and save it. So that's how you make a GIF um, from, from Photoshop and with Blender. Um, so I hope that helps. Have a good time animating. I just waved, but I don't, I think I'm just recording my screen. So um, yeah, happy animating.